hello this is the daily reading for February 5th 2018 I hope you all are doing great today um, for your cards as you can see I laid them out the card the signs that I see here um, just to to throw those out um, I feel like I want to do those again today I try to do them always but for some reason it just I don't know I don't know it just fell apart like it always does <laughs> Um, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, yeah, that's it, actually. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, um, we're gonna start with the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> so today for you, because these are your energies at the top, um, is that there's a change, um, in what's happening. Um, I also want to say that even though this is your environment, it can go vice versa depending on what's going on. Like, if the person that you're watching this for, you know, is watching it, then it could be on the other side. So, just take those energies as A and B. Okay, there we go. Anyway, so the Wheel of Fortune dictates that there will be change in your life. The things are changing. The wheel is turning, okay? And a new cycle is coming in. For you to be prepared, as you can see, I've focused on this sort of truth. To be prepared in the truth and knowledge of what's going to come to you. Um, it also talks about all the things that you have been prepared for, okay, mentally, or preparing yourself for. There is movement. This means that there is a need to take a rest, okay? Especially in reverse. It means that there's a lot of things going on. You may be overworking yourself, overworking your thoughts. When it comes to you not getting some love or some affection um, in return. Okay? Feeling like all is lost. Everything has fell through the cracks. What the heck am I even living for? I mean, not like that, but that's kind of what it feels like when you go through a heartbreak, you know? And it's time for you to take some rest from that. From that energy. From that feeling. Because you're overdoing your thoughts. You're thinking way too hard. Way too hard. It's, it's almost like I'm hearing it's time to heal. Okay? But it's interesting because in your environment, you have the death card, which means that something is transforming for the better. There's a new cycle and a change, right? And it's, oh, I, there's a change because you put a rest to this. There's a change because, because it's time for you to rest. It's like, now that you're not giving and and they don't have that control to not give that affection back if this is a love relationship that now they're changing right they're going through their new cycle and realizing that once you pulled that away you know it's like i really miss that person or i really need that back and this is the change that you were looking for, right? Which is interesting because you end with the Nine of Cups. But I also want you to be aware that the Nine of Cups talks about only contentment. Okay? It talks about being complacent. Like, oh, I got what I wanted, but you deserve more. And that's what the Nine of Cups talks about. It's the step right before there is more. Okay? So it talks about you needing to rest, needing to take a moment from overdoing it because you're going to see the changes and this in your environment is going to change due to you taking a rest. Okay, let's see. The crown chakra. Mm. Listen to spirit and develop wisdom from what spirit is telling you. So it's like past events, 
past situations and your intuition are molding you into a strong spiritual being, right? You are being rejuvenized as a different person by putting a rest to not receiving love. It's like, you're like, why am I doing this? Why, why is this happening? Right? So you're changing. You're changing in turn is changing them and you're moving towards something better. Okay? Towards, not into, towards. Okay? It also talks about you just being on a higher level. I'm going to leave that there. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you tomorrow. I love you very much. Love and light.